Percent calculations. Percent means per 100. Percent is a ratio of a number and 100. For example, if you say 20%, 20%, and the symbol of percent is this. So 20% simply means 20 out of 100. 20% means 20 out of 100. So percent means per 100. In every percent problem, we're looking for three parts, the base, the part, and the, the percent section. So we have three different parts. For example, if you say 10 is, 10 is, 20% of 50. 10 is 20% of 50. Here 10, this number 10 is the part, is the part of the problem. And here 20% is just the person section. And 50 is the base. So if you don't have this part, for example, let's say that we don't have this 20%. 10 is what percent of 50? That's a question. So here the percent is missing. 10 is what percent of 50? 10 is 20% of 50. Let's take a look at some examples here. Number one says 4% of 200. 200, it says of 200. 200 is the base. And 4% is just the percent per, uh, section. So the part is missing. If you're looking for the part, let's say, we just say X, that is the part. We know that the percent, which is 4%, and you can change, you can convert the percent to uh, to fraction like this one, let me just uh, convert it to fraction, it is 4 out of 100. So this one is 4% of, just means times, so we're looking for part, percent times base. Percent times base, base is 200 here. So 4 over 100 times 200. This one, if you multiply 4, you can just have two fractions. 4 times 200 is 800. Over 100 times 1 is just 100. So if you remove these two zeros, cancel them out, the answer is 8. So 4% of two, 200 is 8. You could just write, instead of this fraction, you could just write 0.04 and you can use the, your calculator to solve it. So 0 0.04 is the same thing as 4 over 100 and the same as 4%. 4% of 200 is 8. Next one, easy, 10%. You can just write 0 0.010 or just 0 .0, 0 0.1. So 0 0.10, 0 0.1 is the same thing times here Again, the person is provided and the base is provided. We're looking for part. Percent times base is the answer. That is percent times base. Base is 20. Use your calculator. You get 2. You can just simplify, uh, just uh, multiply these two. Ignore this decimal point. Multiply and then separate two decimal digits and you get 2. 10% of 20 is 2. Next one, here it says what percent. What percent means that the percent is missing. So part divided by base. Which one is part here? It says what percent of, this one can just remove it. What percent of 40 is 12? What percent of 40 is 12? So the base here is 40. So if you're looking for percent, just let's say that is X. We're looking for that. It is 12 is the part, that part, 
divided by, you can just write it over 40. So that one is just over 40. 12 over 40. Now, if you use your calculator, you just need to divide 12 by 40. So if you divide it, 12 divided by 40, the answer is 0 0.03. 0 0.03 0 .03, 0 0.3 or that one is also equals to 30% 3 out of 10 or 0 0.3 is 30% 30 over 100 so 30% of 40 is 12 let's take a look at the next example 80 is what percent? Again, the percent part is missing. Is what percent of 400? 80 is what percent of 400? So percent is missing here. So we need to divide part divided by base. Well, which one is part? Part is here. 80 divided by, that's just the percent, 80 divided by 400. So if you divide this to a divided by 40 is just one fifth or one fifth equals to, you can use a calculator also, it is 20%. 80 is 20% of 400. Next one. 20 is 5%. So we know that 5%, the percent part is provided for us. So we're not looking for percent. So we don't need to use this equation. It says 20 is what percent of what number? Percent of what number? That what number is the base. So we're looking for base, the first one. We need to use the first equation. So base here, let's just say it is x equals to part. Part here is 20. Divided by, you can just write it over, percent, 5%, you can write it as 0 0.05. That one is also 5%. And if you use calculator, just divide 20 divided by point, 20 divided by 0 0.05. The answer is, if you divide 20, divided by 0 0.05, the answer is 400. So 400 is the answer. Now let's just read it one more time. 20 is 5% of 400. So 5% of 400 is 20, and that is correct. Let's take a look at the next example here. In this example, it says 36 is 20% of what number? So 36 is the part, 20% is the, the percent section, but the base is missing. The base is missing. So let's say that the base is x, and then we know that you need to divide part divided by percent. 36 divided by 20%, you can write it as just 0.2 or 0.20. So 36 divided by 0.2, the answer is, you can use a calculator, and the answer is 180. So equals to 180. And if you read the problem one more time, 36 is 20% of 180.